Welcome back. Well, it is that time of the week when we sit back and we just listen to what Miss Susie has to say. Why? <laughs> Which is hilarious. Because Susie says so. So here's today's letter from Amanda. It reads, Dear okay. Susie, I've been in the same job for almost 10 years and I'm thinking about leaving. I hate my boss. I keep getting passed over for promotions and I just can't stand going to work anymore. Should I take a stand and leave? And if I do leave, how can I start over when this is the only job I've ever known? Oh, gosh. Uh, you, yeah, you've got to leave because I'm going to tell you something. If you hate your boss, he knows it. It doesn't matter if you've never said anything. It's not what we say that we give off. It's what we think. When you're miserable in your job, I guarantee the reason you haven't gotten a promotion is because you're not doing a great job. If you hate where you are, you're not going to put 100% in it. Get out. Get going. Have a new adventure. Go look and go to interviews. And even if you don't get the job, you're getting the experience of learning how to interview. So you're on your way up. But for heaven's sakes, don't just go to work. Go to some place where you can put everything you've got into the job. And it's a profession, not a job. That's your purpose. You live with it. You'll be happy where you work. Mm -hmm. That's such that's great, great advice. That's you know, that's advice. right, because when I was working retail, even if I just got kind of in a rut, if I would just go on an interview, uh -huh. it kind of revitalizes you a little bit to be like, would, would I want to take another job, or does it kind of, you know, light a fire under your butt to work harder in the job that you do have, you know, because yeah. the job market is hard, so sometimes... She's been in that job 10 years, yeah, and she hates long time. it. Yeah. Now, now why, what a waste of a life. And well, I think people, I think you're right when you say people know your thoughts. Know. You give off a certain energy, yeah, which is, I I hate energy, this job and I like hate it. being here and mm -hmm. or you know and you have to I'll tell you something else you've got to listen to the message the fact that you didn't get those promotions tells you that there's a reason you didn't get the promotions Tough love. so don't kill the messenger because of the message and you know what resonated with me when I when I was reading this with you is that life is short you know I lost my mom at 55 years old and I learned then that Tomorrow's not promised, that you have to live a life where you're happy, where you're passionate about what you're doing. And it's not always about the money. I know we have to pay bills, we have to live our lives, but sometimes you gotta step out on faith so that you can be at peace about what you're doing every day. You know? So That's sometimes it. you just gotta step out there, take I a leap of faith. It's it's tough love. Do you think that she will feel like that it is too negative or but but you put a positive spin Wait, on it? I, I don't care if I put a positive spin on it. If you want to help somebody, don't worry about whether it's a positive spin or you're going to hurt their feelings. I don't want to hurt her feelings, but I'm sure not going to stand here and, and tell her something I think she doesn't want to hear because it's too tough. It's tough love. Well, she sounds like she hates her job. Like She, she sounds does, really she negative. Like, job. I'm she a boss. Miserable. I'm not getting promotions. I don't like it. I've been here Well, then freaking leave. Like, then do something else. That's why know? we love you, well, by the way. Well, but, and you know what? And this to be sensitive to, to her and many people, I think sometimes people are scared to just leave. Because they don't see it better. Oh, well, well, because they can't. I mean, some people have to pay bills and they. Wait a minute. Oh, please. Let's let fear rule our life. Not, let's let fear no, rule our no, life. No, no, no. So what so you scared Susie, to leave? Susie, you're not listening. Oh, I'm Be sorry. Really, because I just, no, really, I just said that we cannot let fear, because I just told you, I lost my mom. I know what it's like not to live a, how, a life that's full of passion and, and to be gone the next day. I'm saying that you have to have faith, step out there and do something new, but not, let's not be insensitive about people that have to pay bills. It's not so easy just to walk off a job well, sometimes. Maybe, maybe you do the next segment on this, and then oh, I'll we could do Pat says so. <laughs> yes, we. I, I would love Smith it. We could do so. Susie says so, Pat says so, Lisa says so, and Courtney says best. so. In, in all fairness, I, I think there there really is validity in in both points because while you want to encourage people not to be fearful and to step out in faith, and if you're not happy there, then get the heck out. That's all great, but there all are practical things to think about. And if she's got bills to pay, well, then you need to come up with come a up practical a plan. solution That's and a plan, right. you know, step by step to get you into a better job and not put, you know, you or your kids or your bills at, at risk. Right? Tough love, Susie. Amen. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can get the advice that you need, as tough as it may be, um, from Susie by emailing her at Susie at KTXDTV.com or you can find her on Twitter at Susie Says So. So All send right. in your messages and we will be right back. We'll be back.